Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, The Intersection. This is our continuation in working with databases. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to display data from two different tables in a single grid view. I will be using the GUI side of the SQL Server Control within the Visual Studio 2019. So I will create a SQL Server create table statement and I will use in this video an insert a SQL Server insert into table statements and then configure the data source SQL source control and in using the um, SQL statements to build the query in the defined custom statements by building the query and executing the query using the SQL statements. So let's start. I am in uh, Visual Studio 2019. I have created an ASB.NET web application. And let's add our database. We'll give it a name. Here's our database opened. You can open Server Explorer. And here's our tables. So let's create our tables. Uh, right click on the table folder. We are, we're, we're using insert uh, create table statements. We're going to new query. Here is the SQL query where we, are, we will write our query and then execute it. And I'm creating a database for famous people. So here's where they come from, what state they belong to. Here is a state table. And in the state table, I have a state ID, which is uh, my primary key, the primary key of the database. And that's how you write a SQL statement or Microsoft SQL statement. And then the second column is the state name. The state name is unique. I can't have Ohio twice or Michigan twice or Nebraska twice has to be only one time the region it can be doesn't have to be unique because uh, midwest states multiple states are from the midwest multiple states from the southeast multiple multiple states from the west so that cannot be unique but the state itself it has to be unique so that's my first table this is my second table my second table will, will have the names of the celebrities so the uh, i called the table celebrities and then i the id is an arrow number now in this case cannot be an arrow number because you know it will cause a problem and they uh, i have a name and then a city age state and then the constraints on the primary key it has to be unique and then the uh, name i can't have this i can't have the same celebrity twice and i cannot have the city twice. So that's why I have these uniqueness in both of these these columns. The celebrity, if he's all, all already in my database, that's what, what, what this meant. So if those fails, the other two cannot be written to the, to the database. So now let's execute it. So our uh, query executed successfully and the two tables are created. So if we open the first one to see it, if you looked at the first two videos, you saw me doing it this way. And here's our state. As you can see, the state ID is the primary key for this table, for the table state. And the primary key for the celebrity table is the ID. I didn't change it. I should have changed it, but we're going to leave it like that. The state ID, let's make it the foreign key so we can relate uh, the state ID to the celebrity. So you can have many celebrities, many famous people live in the state of Ohio or the state of Michigan. And so let's add the foreign key, add new foreign key state. I could have done the foreign key through the SQL statement, but since we forgot, we can do it here too. Here is the state ID and state ID also here because it's the same name, state ID as a foreign key here and state ID, the primary key. And this is table state. And we can see that's now done. So we related both. both. Now let's insert values into these tables. And we can use the same SQL or we can save this and use it. But since I'm not going to save it, I am going to insert values. So it's insert into table celebrity, so the table name, and then the values, and the values, which is the name and the uh, uh, city and the uh, age, and this is the state ID. So now let's run the other insert for the states themselves, and you can see here is the uh, table states, and uh, there are the names. So seven is Ohio, nine is North Carolina, eight is Georgia. So now let's run it, and if you see this, everything is done. 
we refresh and let's check the celebrities here they are and if you have seen me on the old videos you saw me doing it in here uh, but now since we know how to use SQL statement we can do it that way too let's check the states and here are all the states see the Midwest region I mean the region can be uh, not unique but the states are unique okay now before I continue let me uh, update because I haven't updated yet so let's update this first table here okay update that and let's update the our second table table state so my tables are created they are related to each other through a foreign key and so we can start adding our form and then add our grid view one grid view to display data from both both tables and I'm going to show you the easy way to do it and please don't forget to update your uh, database so I'm going to close these right click add my form let's call this page index I keep saying page I should call it form add and let's add our grid view and here is our data and this grab in our grid view so we're going to click here add new data source our goal is to have one single grid view to display two tables okay now let's click OK select our database click next and click next but in this case I'm going to use the specify custom SQL statement so we click on the query builder and I'm going to select the table celebrity and I'm going to select the table TBL state and I'm going to close this window and here is what I added I couldn't show them to you in one window that's why I had to drag this way and as you can see I have set my relationship so what I want to show let me select the name of the celebrity and his city and the state so here's two tables using one grid view to show value from both of them I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to click next I can test it here is the name and the city from one table and the state from the third table if I click finish here's my grid view if I right click view it on the browser and here is the uh, you can do all the tricks that you have learned before like uh, cascading this and maybe make a, a little statement on the top of the grid but now the states are in one table and the city and the name in another table hopefully this will help you understand how to relate database tables in one database and how to dis display two tables in one grid view this is it for this video i wish you the best if you need any help please come to our zoom meetings we still have them on tuesdays and wednesdays and thursdays and have a beautiful day and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get all the updates